welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Adobe Humanoid Robot. Now this is actually a very brand new robot that just came onto the market and this was actually sent over by our sponsors at RC Moment. For your very own, check out the website down below. Now this particular robot is actually one of the tallest ones we've actually reviewed yet. So I'm actually really excited to try it out. And this one actually can dance, sing, and even do karate. So I'm really excited. But before we do, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. All right, so this here's our box, and as you can tell, it's actually quite large. Uh, it's actually one of the biggest boxes I've seen yet for a humanoid robot. Now, it's got a nice cover art of the actual robot on the front, and it looks like it's actually got a lot of different things going on, so I'm really excited to open it up. Now, it does have a, like a strange looking handle on this side, but I believe this is actually part of the case that it comes with. Alright, so the bottom itself actually gives you a little bit more description of the robot. So it does say it stands at 48 centimeters, which is actually the tallest yet. In addition, it does have 17 servos, which is actually quite an amount. And it does actually have a self-balancing system. So if you actually push it, it'll actually push back. Now you can actually connect to multiple at once, so it does use Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now it does kind of just open up from the side. Like that. And then there's actually a case in here and that kind of just uh, slides out like that. All right, so this here's our box on the inside and it's got a very nice looking handle on it. So you can actually carry it around the way you want to, almost like a little briefcase. In addition, the material that this is made out of is actually like a styrofoam, but it's actually very strong and it actually looks really durable. Now it does open up just like this and there's magnets here on both sides. And then as you open it up, there you have it. There is our Adobe robot, look at that. That looks really cool. Now uh, he's got like a very nice looking like seating position to it. I do see that there's an adapter up here and then we actually have an instruction manual here on the bottom. Now this is actually just a basic uh, setup on how to actually program the robot as well as turning him on and basic functions. So let's go ahead and take him out and take a closer look. Now it kind of just comes out like that. There you go. All right, so this here is our robot, and as you can tell, it looks really nice. He's got a lot of different colors, as well as a lot of different materials. You can see it's actually a very high gloss piece. In addition, the red accents on it make it look really sporty. I really like that a lot. Now, uh, you can actually see he has uh, LEDs in his eyes, so they do turn on. And then we have an infrared sensor on the top over here as well, as well as another sensor over here. Now, on the back here, this actually has a speaker right up here, and then there's an on-off switch to turn them on as well as off as well. And then the charging is actually down here, so you just plug them in and then you can actually charge them through the wall. So let's go ahead and turn them on and see what he's all about. All right, so our Adobe's all set and ready to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch him on and then he'll stand up just like so and kind of give you an idea exactly how tall he is. This is alpha in comparison to size. So obviously there's actually a pretty big gap, which kind of gives you an idea exactly how tall Adobe is. Now, the interesting thing about Adobe is that it actually does have voice recognition as well as a fully functional app. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Now, the app itself works via Bluetooth. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the app and it's going to actually scan for Adobe in which we can go ahead and click connect. And now we're connected. Alright, so we're all connected to our Adobe using the Adobe app and in the actual main menu itself there's an action square, control pad, as well as learn action. Now, action square allows you to download custom apps uh, and control pad allows you to control them as if he's an actual remote control. And then learn action is actually an ability where you can actually create your own actions. And then there's a balance mode where uh, Adobe will actually balance on his own. So let's just go ahead and jump right into control pad. Now control pad looks something like this. Now, over here you can actually see that there's a lot of different movements where you can move them forward, turn them left, and there's a bunch of tricks. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to have Adobe move forward. And then I'll have him move back. And then I'll move left. And then right. And then this is to move fast. And then uh, from here we actually do different tricks. So let's just go ahead and set them straight for now. And now we're gonna go ahead and do a split. So he gets right back up, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, now this is gonna be like a stretch. Now this is a yoga move. And then this will be a karate kick. And 
then we have a few more stretches we can do. Uh, so this one's where he puts his uh, leg behind him and balances on one foot. Yeah, I can never do that myself. <laughs> uh, and then we have ourselves an actual push-up. Uh, this one everyone tends to love. He's doing one-handed push-ups. Look at that guy. <laughs> So it kind of gives you an idea or like a feel of what the control pad's about. Now if we go back, we can actually go into Action Square. Now Action Square is a feature that actually allows you to download different actions including dance, martial arts, yoga, and so much more. So I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into a dance. So this is one of his dances, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So that was one of his dances. Now he does have a lot of other dances as well that you can download, including Gundam Style, uh, Gentleman, and much more. Now you notice his eyes just turned green. Now that's actually voice recognition. So let's try this out. Hi, Dobie. Hi. Move forward. Yes, sir. Stop. Well that kind of gives you an idea of what his voice recognition is. There's a lot of different things you can do in terms of like commands. Uh, obviously it's still in the works, but it's actually a very unique feature. Now let's just go ahead and jump into martial arts. Now martial arts is interesting because there's a lot of different things like moves and kung fu moves you can do. But I'm going to go ahead and show you this. This is like a song. So, pretty interesting, you know, there's a lot of different things like left punch, ho, oh, stand on right leg down, this is flash, this 
So kind of gives you an idea. There's actually a lot of different ones that you can use. So it's actually quite interesting and you know all the different kung fu moves that they included. Now there's also a story mode which is kind of interesting. Um, so the story mode itself is quite interesting because uh, it's actually, well, let's just go ahead and try it out. Now uh, this one's going to be called, uh, there's actually a few different ones in here. So this one's called a badly frightened bird. Let's try this. The wolf and the fox. A long time ago, a wolf and a fox lived together. However, because the wolf was stronger, the fox always did as the wolf commanded. The fox always wished to be free of the wolf. Then, one day, the wolf went to the farmhouse to eat some pancakes. The next day, the wolf wanted to eat the pancakes again. So, he once again went alone. When the farmer heard the rustling sound, the farmer came and began hitting the wolf. The wolf came back, limping and started venting out his anger to the fox. It's all because of you. Because of you, my leg is broken. The fox wanted to say... Alright, so that kind of gives you an idea of what the story mode is. Um, I really can't really find anything interesting about it, but yeah, you know, if you're a little kid, I'm sure you'd love it. In terms of yoga, there's actually a few different poses. Like, this one's called Wheel Bow. So, supposedly he's gonna go on his back. I'm not exactly sure what he's gonna do. Okay, so... Yeah. So, there's a lot of different yoga poses that you can do. Like, this is a left leg extension. So, this is left leg extension. So, obviously, you know, if you really want to, you can copy him and uh, kind of base it off of that, I guess. So, that's another yoga pose. So, kind of interesting, uh, but yeah, you know, kind of gives you an idea of what Dobie's about. Uh, there's actually, you know, a lot of potential with this particular robot. Now, another thing I haven't showed you is called the balance mode. Now, the balance mode is quite interesting. For instance, if I just kind of turn him to the side like this and I turn on balance mode, notice he starts shaking, but if I push him, he's actually pushing back. If I push him this way, So I'm actually hitting him too, so kind of gives you an idea on what happens. But obviously if I lift him up, he goes crazy. <laughs> so he kind of keeps himself straight as much as possible. And then like if he does fall, for instance, so let's like, say he fell back. He'll automatically get right back up. So that's the nice thing about the uh, balance mode. So if you go into learn action, now learn action allows you to create your own actions that you can actually program Dolby with. Uh, this is still in the making, so the app is not currently updated. It's actually a very fairly new robot, so it's actually got a lot of potential. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and if there's anything you want to see with Dobie, feel free to comment down below. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.